Everybody, it's Tyler here at Vex Rules, checking with middle school team 2252R SEMA Tech. This team coming in from Puerto Rico. We're finalists at the uh, championship there and looking really good here so far. Currently undefeated, number one seed in their division as well, too. We've been talking a lot about their process they've gone through in the season, a lot of changes that they made as well, too, and some great both mechanical features and some uh, a couple of limit switches as well, too. So let's learn more about SEMA Tech, what's made them so successful, coming up here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash vex to learn more and apply. Uh, Julian, let's talk about the uh, engineering design process on your team. As your team approached the over-under game, just talk about how did you end up coming up with the different robots and iterations that you've had? For the engineering design process, we we identified the tasks that robots needed to carry out. Then we de decided to do brainstorming for each subsystem the robot need the robot had, so, so which would be the intake, the the wings, the elevation. Which is used, which uses parking and the catapult. So, so we for each one we brainstormed at least three ideas for each subsystem, and then by team vote we decided to carry out. We by team vote we voted which one would be the best option, and then, and then, um, then which with each competition the each subsystem was. Um, was improved and perfected on, up until this competition now. From the uh, Puerto Rico Championships here into Worlds, were there any big changes that you made up to this robot? Um, definitely. Um, for example, for the catapult, we were uh, figuring out for a long time which would we use, which launcher we would use. Because at first we, we thought we would use a, a puncher, but that didn't work well either or a flywheel that did not work as well and then we decided on the catapult and yeah that's and also as well for the mesh of uh, you know, for the for the intake we we usually used to have only one access here but then we added two and what the intake does now is that it expands to fast inspection the ro the robot needs to be 18 by 18 by 18 so therefore, uh, the intake needed to be pushed back with these rubber bands here, and then it would expand upon upon pushing the intake forward. Then, then we also added a mesh around each each uh, axis to so that when when pushing other robots upon put upon uh, being pushed or pushing other robots, the rubber bands wouldn't get entangled with with the other robots here. Very cool. So let's hand it over to Pedro to talk more in depth on parts of your robot. Pedro, talk to me about the drive base that you're using and anything else uh, in regards to the robot design uh, coming into Worlds that you want to mention. Okay. Uh, we design, we design our, our base for the robot uh, by using a symmetrical structure uh, and also using pressure nuts to make it more rigid during the competition. Uh, and we add uh, these three uh, st stabilizers ba uh, bars to make it more, res more resistant. Uh, um, our drivetrain uh, is composed by four, four 600 RPM motors with a gear ratio of 36 to uh, 84. And talk to me about uh, your wheel choice on here. Uh, you're running Omni wheels here with a nice traction wheel here. Talk to me about why you chose this route. Uh, we chose the back flex wheel because uh, sometimes uh, other robots uh, can, pu uh, can push uh, our robot. Uh, but with this uh, back flex wheel, 
it's more difficult to other road to 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 push the road because um, friction. Did it also help you go over the barrier in the middle too? Yeah, uh, it helps uh, for no not losing traction in the in the middle part. Yeah. Um, and then we mentioned earlier that your intake was changed a little bit too. Can we see a tri ball come in and talk to me about how your intake works? Yeah. Uh, our intake, by uh, basically, uh, basically, basically, uh, works uh, with uh, rubber bands and a mesh to protect uh, the rubber bands. Uh, and we also have this shift, uh, this system to to pass impression and for prevent uh, from other robots uh, rub the our tire you know so when the other road push the intake the tribals come with the intake and don't let the tribal go very cool some other things we want to talk about as well too on uh, nathaniel i want to hear more about the match strategies that you've gone into your team right now is undefeated so talk to me about how those strategies come into play during each match well what we basically do is um before each match we start looking for our opponents and like do some research about them and see the um strengths of the robot for example the catapult if they have a catapult, if they had a puncher, flywheel, if their intake is made of rubber bands or is made of flexi wheels, if they have wings and stuff like that, how they elevate in, into what tire they elevate. And we put all that in, in, in a document for later use. And also we talk about that with our alliance that will be in that, in that match with us. So talking about, how about your last match here that you just had, what kind of conversations did you have with your alliance partner for that match? Well, first we talk about the strengths of each robots. Then we basically saw the, uh, the opponent robots and conclude that it was better for them to do the bowling technique on the, on the tribal, I mean, on the, on the intake. And occasionally we will also do it to like confuse the other robots and yeah. Fantastic. Uh, Milan, talk to me more about how everything comes together for your team. You know, we talked about the continued success your team has had both at the uh, Puerto Rico Championship as well here at Worlds. How has everything come together for your team? Well, obviously this wasn't uh, made overnight. It took us a lot of re reunions after class to, to really put every single idea on the table and really view the pros and cons of each of them. Um, a thing that, something that really helps us to, to really uh, build the robot efficiently was our, our connection as, as friends, because uh, we take classes together and it makes it way much easier to feel that, feel that, uh, that, that connection, that connection with each other. And we don't feel, I don't feel embarrassed to to be who we are. So we, we, there's no, there aren't any limitations to, to what we put on the table. And your team has had a phenomenal season. You have an excellence award, an amazing award, a creative award as well too. A really complete team that comes together. So congratulations on all that. Before we wrap up here, I want to pass it back over to uh, Julian C. Talk more about, I notice on here, you have a limit switch uh, going on with that. Can we just talk a little bit more what you're utilizing that for? So we are utilizing the limit switch to pass, so the catapult can, uh, so the catapult can stay here without moving, and it can pass through the horizontal bar. As when the catapult is up, it does not, it, it collides with the horizontal bar. And you know, we can, we also use it for when the uh, for when the catapult is down, it goes up, and we can throw this tribal with the catapult. Well, Seaman Tech overall, being the pride of Puerto Rico right now with an amazing performance. Wish you best of luck here at the World Championship. Can't wait to see how you keep doing in, in the divisions and hopefully beyond. So good luck here. We can't wait to see how you do. Thanks a lot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following.
The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash vex to learn more and apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.